Okay, so we spoke to Tony Pulis this morning and uh, he was quite critical of the £8,000 fine he received uh, in regards to the Leicester game. Pulis uh, confronted referee Anthony Taylor in the tunnel after the game and he was charged with improper conduct um, and subsequently fined by the FA after he admitted to that charge. Pulis has come out and asked the FA where does that money go because uh, the FA is a non-for-profit organisation. He wants it to go to charity and he uh, actually mentioned a hospice up in Stoke and Trent that he'd like it to go to. Um, elsewhere, Tony has uh, talked about his desire to bring in one or two new players in January. He doesn't believe that his team has the right balance at the moment. Uh, now he's been 10 months in the job, he thinks he knows exactly what he needs for his team. Um, but that would require one or two players who haven't been playing uh, to leave the club. Now, we didn't mention any names, but obviously we can uh, make our own um, decisions from that. And uh, people like Christian Gamboa, and also Sebastian Pocanoli, who haven't even been in the matchday squads, might be on their way out. Uh, when I asked Tony Pulis uh, what positions he was focusing on, he said he did know, but he wasn't going to tell us just now. Um, West Brom travel to Old Trafford tomorrow, looking for three wins in three. They went there last year, got scored uh, a goal for Jonas Olsen, won one nil. And the year season before that, Sider Berahino and Morgan Amalfitano scored in a 2-1 win over David Moyes' men, which, as you might recall, was the first time we'd won at Old Trafford since 1978. So we're going back there tomorrow, hoping to make it three wins in three. Uh, and Albion would be the only team other than Man City to get a hat-trick of wins at Old Trafford in a row.